we all decided to up and move and we got a house in Connecticut and as soon as we got there there's kind of uh, a bunch of supernatural things that happen and um, my character gets confused because with the cancer treatment there is the opportunity or the risk to hallucinate so he's having trouble differentiating whether he's really seeing these things or he's hallucinating the house used to be a uh, like a funeral home and um, they have an embalming chamber basically in the basement and uh, a lot of like terrible stuff happened in the chamber there was this kid named uh, Jonah and he used to be a, he's like a medium basically for uh, seances and this guy named Aikman used to use him so people all around the world would come to see these seances happen and uh, at one point everybody pretty much gets killed during one seance and a lot of there's basically a lot of anger and a lot of uh, like bad energy in the house so um, the kid Jonah is trying to uh, speak to me in whatever way he can and uh, try to get me to pretty much end everything that's going on. Pesky is, he's a priest or used to be a priest. He. Uh, you know, he basically tells me to fear no evil. He tells me to find out what Jonah wants. He tells me to kind of face my fears a little bit and just see what's going on. He's 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 kind of my safety net a little bit. Where you know he's he's older. He's further on his way. Where you know I'm still young. I have a little bit of strength, but um, he's not afraid to die. He's not afraid to you know for everything to end. But you can tell I'm terrified. So he's kind of helping me through the through the motions and through the steps of everything. Wendy um, is the only one my age, so we kinda we kinda get along, we kinda speak to each other in a way that I can't talk to my mom because she is completely just so zoned on the fact that I'm gonna live and that nothing's wrong. But with Wendy I can finally speak my mind and tell her that something's going on. It's nice to finally find a horror movie that's like, it's actually got a really good storyline, which is nice with the dramatic sense of it and the family sense of it, where it's not just blood, guts, and torture. It's, it's, it's stressful for the family, and then it's stressful for my character to know he's hurting his family, but he also is dying, and he's seeing ghosts, and it's just like, ugh. It's, it's, it's been tough, but it's been a really cool kind of challenge. kind of wants to go back to an old style of, of, of horror films where it's like you sit there and it's like that no don't go behind the door like he's behind the door kind of thing instead of like cutting someone's throat and watching them bleed out which is like kind of the new fashion of things so I'm kind of hoping this brings things back to a kind of old school style of horror films where it's about the scares and not the not the shock value of like blood and guts Um, he's been really great on set. Like he has everything very planned out, very mapped out. So it's like, because there's a lot of shots for this movie, um, it's gonna look really like stylized and really cool. That it's it it you can definitely tell that a lot of his Ward 13 kind of thought process came out because everything has to be very planned out for the way we want to shoot this this movie. But he's been he's been really good about it. Like everything's very straightforward and he knows exactly what he wants and he knows exactly how to do it and it's been going really good. Working with Virginia has been really great. It's tough, like, it's kind of scary because I've never had a lead role, let alone a lead role in a feature film and it's, it was, I came in and I was just like, like I'm here oh god so uh, she immediately like kind of took me under her wing and was like everything's gonna be cool you know we'll, we'll do it we'll have fun and she she made things really 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 comfortable right from the get-go and then Elias came and everyone got along great with Elias because Virginia and Elias have known each other for a long time so it's it's always been like everybody's been very accepting of everybody and everybody is looking out for everybody and nobody feels excluded nobody feels you know uncomfortable it's it's been a really nice experience working with everybody.
Well, I'm hoping they they see something they haven't seen for a long time. I hope they actually, instead of being disturbed, they're actually genuinely scared, and they sit there and actually scream and actually yell and actually jump and get afraid. Because I haven't been to a movie in a while where I've, like, it's fun to be scared. And I'm hoping that this is one of the first movies in a while that I'll actually do that.